Hello everyone. This is our first chapter of memory and processing units. In uh, last uh, or in previous standard, you people learn about uh, computer, mm, what is computer, different parts of computer, features of computer, also advantages and disadvantages of computer and some uh, computer applications. Okay, so let's in short again what is computer and uh, I'll continue the first point of this uh, lesson so let's see first what is computer we all are familiar with this machine actually a computer is an electronic machine so why it is called electronic machine because it works on electricity so it is called uh, electronic machine and it uh, consists of different parts okay it has a number of uh, parts okay so what these are keyboard mouse monitor CPU so what these are the different uh, parts of uh, computer okay so let's see what is the first point actually it is introduction uh, what you learn in third standard but uh, you people not learn what the IPO cycle in third standard because uh, for this year we have a new uh, syllabus okay so I'll track first what is the uh, IPO actually these are uh, functions of uh, computer means uh, according to device here computer based on what three main functions okay and what these are IPO input second one is a processing and then one is a last one that is output so it is a cycle and uh, here every function of computer itself will execute in a sequence okay so first it will call input it will process on it and then uh, whatever processor data is ready uh, will be displayed at the end uh, by using output okay devices so what is this this is a IPO input process output cycle okay now uh, let's see first uh, what is the input we know that uh, it is a function but what is input input means what uh, feeding data to computer that is called uh, input okay and uh, this term is very important what is that it's uh, data the data means what uh, a raw fact okay that is entered by user okay in form of text uh, okay in form of number in form of symbols that means single piece of word character is uh, called data okay so that is called feeding that means when we feed what any raw fact any raw material through input devices so what are the input devices keyboard mouse scanner microphone okay these are input devices okay and when we use these uh, devices to feed data uh, these devices are called what are input devices and uh, the process of feeding data uh, is is called input okay uh, when you feed or after finishing what the feeding okay data will be uh, taken for a process okay and uh, we have a single processing unit what is that it's a CPU stands for a central processing unit and uh, whatever data feeded by user using input devices it will be received by processing unit and uh, processing will start to turn that raw fact to useful uh, inf useful information or raw data to useful information that means it will organize and they will prepare what one uh, useful material and what we call that it is output but uh, it is not displayed by the processing just it will prepare and uh, output it will receive what output function will receive that uh, process or a data and uh, at the end uh, it will uh, display using what the output devices uh, it can be monitor it can be printer speaker okay it's depend on what uh, data has processed by processing uh, unit okay so it's very important uh, you must know that now I hope you all understand what is IPU now it's a uh, function or uh, these are main functions of what are main functions of what a computer input process and output okay it's called IPO cycle okay I hope you all understand so here we have a small example here we have a real life example of what uh, the online order for food you can see we have a uh, three main uh, process first one is input here shown what uh, one uh, mobile smartphone user uh, selecting what a uh, food and uh, sending that uh, order to food company then food
Kapoor company will receive that order and uh, uh, will send what person okay to deliver what uh, food selected by the user that means uh, the selecting food uh, from uh, mobile it is input okay when it will select uh, that will be processed uh, by the food company and uh, uh, food company will uh, send that request uh, or send uh, the request of user uh, through delivery boy that is output so I hope you all understand the uh, function of computer function of computer is based on what this uh, real life example it will take input from user it will process on what information what data has faded and uh, at the end uh, it will display the result okay so this after let's see what is the next uh, so we know what is the data now data is a raw fact uh, that uh, cannot be used uh, directly okay as information after processing it can be used now uh, let's see what is information information means what uh, when uh, data is organized and collected together uh, it becomes processed data and that processed data is called information means after processing on data that data will become useful and uh, that useful data is called information okay then let's see one example here uh, we have an example of what other card okay uh, we all are familiar with this one actually uh, it is identification card and uh, you can get your personal details not others your personal details by feeding what uh, the other number okay when you will enter your other number you will get your personal details that means those details are already feeded okay but whenever you want to retry you can retry by sending uh, the other number or uid number that means uh, you will get your information about yourself okay then uh, if you want to get information about any uh, place then also you can get it okay so that is called what uh, information that is uh, already processed uh, that is already organized uh, simply we have to access and when we access what uh, such organized uh, data okay or such processed uh, data that is called what uh, information okay now this after what is our next point uh, is data processor this is our next point in this point we are going to discuss about what a processing device and what is that is cpu that means when we feed data and when we get the output so how it is possible or how uh, we get that uh, useful information after feeding what the raw fact it is possible because of what a central processing unit or processing device means for the processing uh, this cpu is responsible okay that means it will uh, convert what a raw fact uh, entered by user and will turn to useful information that may be any calculation or maybe conversion of what a raw data to useful information okay and uh, that is called uh, processing okay and uh, the device which uh, do this all things okay that means uh, converting data or uh, calculate any calculations okay uh, such device is called a processing device or processing devices okay so this after what is our next point uh, after how is data processed uh, our uh, next point is uh, parts of CPU actually CPU made up of different parts okay it has three main units and uh, in these uh, units parts are divided so first uh, let's see the three main units of cpu the first uh, unit of cpu is uh, cu that is control unit okay which control uh, and monitor the flow of data okay going to if going anything wrong it will simply alert to you people or user then what is next uh, it is the uh, alu alu stands for arithmetic and logic unit uh, it will uh, simply calculate what the calculations related to arithmetic like addition subtraction multiplication and it will not uh, only calculate what such basic calculation also it will uh, 
calculate board logical calculation like it will take precision that means when uh, you want to compare two numbers okay using word computer then it will help you to find out which one is smallest which one is greater or both numbers are same or not okay that is called what a decision making okay and uh, it will take the decision and at the end uh, we have a last one that is MU MU stands for a memory unit okay it's very important uh, unit because uh, it uh, stores data okay uh, temporarily or uh, permanently okay means it stores data temporarily and permanently okay and because of what uh, these uh, units it is called or because of these features this uh, device is called uh, electronic brain okay because it play what a role which is played by human uh, brain like uh, we can think we can take decision okay even we can calculate calculation and even we can store data all these uh, features are there with this uh, uh, device or this part of computer so it is called uh, electronic brain now uh, let's see some uh, internal parts uh, which are located inside uh, the cabin CPU cabin so what these are first one a motherboard it is a uh, it's in a square and rectangular form it's a green board and uh, this is called main board also it is very important because uh, whatever important components are there which are located or sub components are there which are located here on this okay then uh, next one that is a uh, SMPS then uh, DVD or CD-ROM okay then hard disk so what these are so internal components which are located in CPU cabin okay then uh, let's see the input process cycle input process output cycle inside the CPU how it perform or how input process output cycle work out inside the CPU okay so before that uh, let's see the why CPU is called central processing uh, unit because uh, whatever input and output devices are there or exist or used uh, these are directly connected uh, through bounded uh, or wired communication medium to CPU means input and uh, with input output devices are connected to CPU so this is called uh, central processing unit so when we enter any or when we feed any data to computer by using input devices it can be keyboard mouse then directly that input device will send that data to CPU CPU it will uh, process on it after processing temporarily it will store on uh, this whatever result has uh, uh, generated it will be stored on uh, uh, temporarily on a RAM or primary storage okay and after processing you can get the result on the screen okay and uh, you can save that uh, result or output which is uh, processed uh, or is uh, displayed by output device that may be screen or any other device okay or any other video device and even it can be saved uh, wherever you want maybe in uh, internal storage internal permanent storage or external permanent storage like pen drive cd dvd okay so here we have a small uh, diagram uh, it's showing what uh, the process how is data processed uh, you can see here we have input devices keyboard mouse okay so when you will uh, feed any data to cpu then uh, cpu will process on it okay and uh, temporarily will store on uh, RAM on primary storage okay and after processing you will see what that result on screen which is uh, temporarily stored on RAM okay and uh, as you wish you can uh, store it wherever you want in internal uh, ex secondary storage or in external secondary storage okay and that is also displayed even it is present on primary storage then also it is displayed by output device and you can take what its output also we using what the printing machines like printer or any other plotter hmm? so this after what is our next point inside the system unit as I said this uh, unit or uh, this 
processing device made up of different parts it has uh, SMPS you can see uh, which provide what the electricity according to the what the capacity then uh, here we have a motherboard you can see this green color main board is called motherboard we have a RAM you can see this vertical slot where uh, a chip has uh, located or installed and there are locks also to fix what the RAM then we have a hard disk so this is hard disk means uh, secondary internal secondary storage here data stored permanently and what about RAM it stores the data temporarily till computer is on when you switch off your computer it will remove the contents it will erase the data but what about the hard disk it will not not erase what the data that you stored it will keep it for a long time that means even after switch off the computer it will not uh, erase okay it will allow you to will to try to back whenever you want even after one year or ten year okay then then here we have a description of what uh, the parts just now uh, we learn okay what these are the SMPS RAM hard disk and motherboard so let's see first what is SMPS before that let's see what is the full form of SMPS actually it is a switched mode power supply okay SMPS stands for switched mode power supply this is the full form of what a SMPS actually it is a power box and it supply what the power according to the capacity according to the uh, capability of what the components which are installed inside means uh, all ports uh, will not acquire or will not ask or will not uh, receive what the same power okay according to their capability they will receive hmm? then what is next uh, RAM RAM stands for a uh, random access memory it is a uh, primary memory it is called uh, working memory also sometimes it is called primary memory also and uh, the speed of computer depend on what uh, the RAM okay and uh, this is located on motherboard okay and it is a small chip okay then this after what is the next one that is hard disk HDD this is the short form of hard disk HD stands for hard and D stands for disk okay actually it is a uh, one kind of storage okay it is similar to what a RAM but RAM stores data temporarily till computer is on when you switch off your computer then it will uh, remove the data it will you will lose the data but what about a hard disk uh, even after switch off the computer then also you can retry those uh, things what you stored before few days okay means uh, it is what a permanent so storage permanent storage okay and the uh, HDD this is the short form of hard disk and next uh, motherboard what is motherboard actually this is called main board also or main circuit and uh, this is very important part of what a CPU uh, it is uh, located uh, inside the CPU and uh, it made up of different components means uh, it has what sub components like it has a RAM slot it has a bio cell slot it has what a processor slot okay and so many other components and uh, it consists of what a green uh, board okay and uh, whatever processing work is the it is almost done by the motherboard because uh, the important part that is processor which is located on motherboard then uh, primary sec primary storage this is also located on what a motherboard so I hope you all understand what is uh, IPO cycle then uh, how is data processor and at the end uh, we learn what uh, the internal components of CPU and uh, 